Welcome back to another Clash Mini video. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications and let's jump right into it. All right, let's talk the best Barbarian King deck. And uh, let's go ahead and talk you guys through. This is the best Barbarian King deck I've been able to find and I absolutely love it. I've been able to destroy other Barbarians, obviously. Uh, we've been able to destroy other Queens, of course. We've been able to destroy Shield Maidens and the number one thing you want to be able to destroy is countesses. We've been, been able to destroy uh, most countess players and we're usually pretty good about countering them fairly, fairly well. And you guys will see that throughout this video. Let's go ahead and talk some strategy on this deck. The Barbarian King is known as one of the weakest heroes in the game when you first unlock him. Um, he's really, really bad. However, once you get him to level five, he is a force to be uh, reckoned with. I don't know if that's the right saying, but he is so good at level five when he unlocks that second ability. So uh, at ability number one, when you unlock the Barbarian King, you get the Iron Fist ability. It increases the damage of nearby ally allies for a short time. However, at level five, you unlock the Born Leader ability, which applies that bonus to all allies across the map. So if you got an Ewiz in the corner and he's not even close to your Barbarian King, it still activates and you've got just everybody with insane power and you guys will see that throughout this video. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about each role of each card in this deck. We've got the bowler the bowler you always want to start off with him he gives that good little knockback and he uh stuns enemies as well which basically gives the barbarian king some time to get some heavy hits in as well as gain some energy so he can get that uh power up to everybody on the map number two we've got the spear goblin the same exact uh concept as the bowler especially if they're playing countess if you get that spear goblin on their countess uh it is pretty much ggs right then and there um spear goblin also like i said it gives that stun ability same strategy as the bowler then we've got the little baby skeleton guard and he is awesome for tanking damage and keeping damage off of the barbarian king and um basically making sure the barbarian king is able to get more hits in, get its energy up and be able to give everybody else on your field that uh that little damage increase um then we've got the miner obviously to pick off uh anything like um like let's say an archer queen or an e-wiz or a wizard or basically any ranged troop it's the minor he always plays the same role and then the e-wiz how could we forget the e-wiz the best mini in the game right now uh i pretty much use him in all my decks but he's got that stun ability he's got uh the ability to take away their energy and he can it hit a ton of people on the field and uh we had an insane play with him you guys will see soon in this video but uh anyways let's go ahead and jump straight into the first game and uh let's check out this deck this is queen matchup this is a classic little like clash of some clash of clans vibes here. Um, let's go ahead and get the bowler down. Um, we should be able to wreck the queen honestly because we should be able to knock her back. And the king is pretty strong. I'm not gonna lie. The king, the king's got it, once it hits level five and it has that second ability, the king is pretty strong. Uh, he's really tanky too. Um, he's knocked out right now though, unfortunately. We got that extra damage output. Queen is dead, thanks to Spear Goblin, and boom! A quick little, quick little one to zero right now. Quick little one to zero right now, you love to see it. Um, all right, let's go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna put the king here. Let's go like, let's go like this. And then, um, let's get the Ewas down as well. I wanna keep the Ewas like not, eh. Yeah, let's just go. Let's let's go with that setup. Kind of a weird little setup because his his uh, heal square is on the left and mine's on the right. Um, nice. Spear Goblin will get the little value there. And my Spear Goblin is dead now, thanks to his. But uh, definitely worth it. We should be able to win this game. Everything is locked on to my um, Skeleton Guard, which is kind of the goal there. You want everything locked on the Skeleton Guard. You want him taking all the damage. And his Spear Goblin should not be able to tank that. I was going to say, there's no way a Spear Goblin wins that right there. All right, 2-0, baby. First uh, first game, so far, so good. All right, let's go ahead and get uh, let's get everybody down this left side. Um, and honestly, I want to go E-Ways to strike four enemies. And I would like to get... Uh... All right, boom. Let, let's go with this. Uh, we should be able to destroy him on that left side. We've got two clash abilities, which is the Spear Goblin and the Bowler. So we are able to stun people and do tons of damage. Boom. All right, we're going to knock back the Mega Knight and stun him. And we're able to do a ton of damage. Uh, this should be a pretty easy win. But my my uh, my Skeleton Guard got absolutely demolished by his, uh, his Spear Goblin. All right, we lose this round. Wow. I shouldn't... Wow, the E-Wiz! 
I thought it was the loss, but the U.S. just pulled the most clutch play of all time! That's why you upgrade the U.S. Holy cow, dude! Ooh, a king versus king battle! Ooh. Alright, he's gonna probably just go on this shield circle. I love this startup with the spear goblin and the bowler. You get that knockback, a ton of massive damage, if they go down that lane, which I think he will. Um, I have a, I have a good feeling. Oh, he's not! Smart man. He did what I did. He went off of it. Um, we should still be able to win this because my king has his second ability. Which I guess his, his troops are so close to each other right now, it doesn't even matter. Um, but we should be able to beat this Spear Goblin, no problem. Um, come on, Bowler, hit that shot. Nice. Spear Goblin versus Spear Goblin. We should hit him first. Oh, wow. His spear went first. On surprise. Nice. GG. Alright, 1-1. One, one. As we get later in the game, though, he should stand no chance against us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go... Uh, I have a feeling he's not even going to go on the heel square this round. Um, and let's get this down here. And uh, perfect. I think he might go down the middle again. And if he does, I've got my uh, skeleton guard to block for my bowler. And we should be able to get a ton of damage down the middle. Oh, man. He went with the skeleton guard as well, which is perfect. We knocked back his skeleton guard, which allowed us to get his mini pack out of the way really early. And we'll take this round super easily because we've got the E Wiz, we've got the Spear Goblin, and we've got the level 5 King. Um, easy round there. Easy round there, one to one. Um, but basically, you want to make sure your King stays alive and gets that ability off as much as possible because then everybody in your whole map gets that, uh, that little upgrade of damage. Um, let's go ahead and get this uh, Strikes up to 4. Uh, enemies and let's get a little let's get this is an interesting combination here i i do want that healing ability kind of on my skeleton all right nice oh uh, we'll knock back his skeleton again and do a ton of damage <laughs> with the uh spear goblin and perfect we got the miner on his e -wiz. that's exactly what we wanted and look at this my king gives attack damage to everybody on the field and that goes to show you how broken the king is with his second ability everybody on the field got their attack damage up and we just wiped out his whole army like it was nothing dude the king can be very very good um all right perfect let's go ahead and get the e -wiz up to uh let's get his dissipate up there um let's go bowler down this side um I'm not even going to use that deck. I'm going to go ahead and get this plus three, three uh, stun duration. Boom, right there. Um, the bowler should knock them back. I'm hoping he goes on that heal square. I'm feeling he's not going to, though. If he does, though, we'll get a lot of value. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to do that. Because we got him a couple of times. Uh, he'll probably take this round. Except the king's giving me that extra damage there. The e -wiz, Um We might clutch this. We really might. With this e -wiz alive and the bowler tanking a little bit of damage... We may clutch it. Boom. The e -wiz does clutch it. I just had a feeling. I had a feeling. Sometimes you get that feeling. All right. Um, hopefully, we can get this next round against a Countess. That'd be, uh, that'd be pretty nice. All right. King versus King again. Let's go. Um, let's go Miner down this right side. I have a feeling he's going to go down... Uh, let's get the backstab upgrade on the miner as well. I feel he's going to go down the right side. Actually, I don't know. I feel like he might go down my heel square. Oh, no. He does go to the right side. I was hoping he would. Thank you. All right. We get that really nice ability off on his Barbarian King early. We got the miner on his uh, Archer, which should do some nice damage. But he's just got so many troops down, especially with that Barbarian. I don't know. I've never seen a Barbarian versus Miner fight here. Uh, miner takes it, though. Let's go. Let's go. You love to see it. I'm happy to see the Miner take that fight. Um, I really wasn't sure there, to be honest. Um, let's get, uh, I want to get the bowler down early. I guess not. Let's go. I have a feeling he's going to go down this right side again, and let's get my e -wiz down. Uh, let's go, let's go with the skeleton, skeleton guard a little bit closer. That way he tanks for both the e -wiz and the king. Oh, he doesn't go down the left. Smart idea. I, I wouldn't have either if I was him. That's kind of why I didn't go down my right side. Um, come on, Skeleton. Come on, go down. Nice. And uh, this should be an easy fight. My king should power up. Boom. And everybody gets plus attack on the field. And you just sweep up after that. You sweep up after that. Um. All right, here we go. Round number three. We might even 3-0 this guy here. He doesn't really know how to use his deck, to be honest. Um, let's go Spear Goblin. Do, do, do. 
guns. Let's go. S this is potentially dangerous if he doesn't go down the right side. Oh, he does. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go. We predicted that very well. That spear goblin throw is perfect. <laughs> that spear goblin throw is so perfect. This deck is 10 times stronger if you're able to predict them pretty well. If you're playing an opponent that's easy to read, it's an easy win because you can protect your king and you can always get that spear goblin dash off. But there we go. Nice little win, baby. Nice little win. Let's uh let's try one more time and see if we can get a countess matchup. Let's see. Let us see. Chip we wanted. Let's go bowler and the spear goblin in the back. Um let's go bowler in the back. Hopefully he goes with his countess down the middle oh smart man smart man really hoping he would um he would have been destroyed <laughs> he would have been absolutely destroyed look at all that damage output though from the king thanks to the king's ability get out of here countess yeah that's what i thought countess that's what i thought mr countess get out of here all right or right, mrs countess that is all right let's go um skeleton guard down here and uh, I think he might go on the ability this round. He might. He might not. If he does, he's in trouble. If he goes Countess on the the ability square, he is in trouble. The energy square. Please, use the energy square. Oh, nice. Well, at least we get some value. Oh, we didn't get the knockback on the P.E.K.K.A. The mini P.E.K.K.A. That's unfortunate. Uh, we still take this round, though. I'm, I'm fairly confident here. Uh, we just got... It just overpowers so well. If their placement isn't spot on, we overpower them every single time. Um, maybe we'll 3-0 a little Countess deck here? We might throw a, a Countess deck here. That'd be nice. All right, Barbarian King. Looking good. Um, if I can just predict where he's going with this Countess, I would just be so happy. Uh, strikes up to four enemies. Let's get that going down. Let's get the extra six shield health. And um, I am going to go with the same... Composition. I'm gonna keep my uh, Ewiz a little bit closer this time. That way, the his Countess can't really get to him. Probably go for my Bowler instead of my Ewiz. Um, he goes down the middle again, and at least we'll. Oh, we missed the knockback on the mini Pekka again. But here we go. We've got the extra damage output on everybody on the field. Um, looking good. I just want to keep that Ewiz alive. Keep keep him stunning people, and then especially with that Barbarian King ability, it is just so good. Absolutely destroyed. 3-0 that little Countess deck. Get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do enjoy this deck, let me know. If you guys do end up using this deck, let me know how it goes for you guys. Hopefully it works as well for you guys as it does for me. But uh, so far, this is the best Barbarian King deck I've been able to find. And I absolutely love playing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys aren't already subscribed, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Drop a like on the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.